Woohoo! Check that new gutter out. Finally got a seamless gutter. No more water leaking. Like I said before, it was dripping right down here in front of the door and actually getting on the door and the water was running down underneath the seal. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. And we're supposed to get a lot of rain in the next couple weeks. So I'm happy. I still need to finish trimming this corner here, but now all of you OCD spouting experts can be at ease. Huh, what's this? New tire for the 250L? That's what I'm talking about. But let's get to work. All right, guys, it's time to get this motorcycle stand cleaned up because I want to start using this thing. Kex 100, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to wait. One thing I miss about this bike, how stupid light this thing is. It's ridiculous. It's like a mountain bike. Brakes still work. I know there's only half an engine in there, but literally it's like no effort to lift this thing up. It's almost lighter than my bike, it feels like. That's what two strokes are all about, man. I can't wait to start ripping this thing. As soon as we get back from the Florida trip, I promise we'll start diving into this, get it done, because I need some smoke in my life. Oh my gosh, the Grom has not been this clean in a long time. I hate to say it, but the soap might have helped. So a lot of people have noticed this, but I believe these plastics were originally red and they just painted over them. I don't know if the other colors are like that. I doubt it, whether they all start as red. I have no idea. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think. But man, the wheels, everything is looking shiny. I think this is gonna make one heck of a transformation after we're done with it this week. But this thing is pretty disgusting. Let's go ahead and spend some time getting it cleaned up. Looks like the first thing to go in the cabinets is going to be the old KX100 piston. That's a good memory. Just need to fill this with some other memorabilia. It's mail time. Number one. And number two. Start out with a small one. Sometimes bigger isn't always better. That's what your mom told me. Oh ho ho! All right, we got some brake pads for a bike that I'm not gonna say yet, and brake fluid. Nice, simple enough, boring. Good stuff's in this one. I think we need a better unboxing knife. Oh yeah, this is the money makers right here. Boom! This is the most saran wrap that I've ever seen on something. I think you guys can take a wild guess on what these are for. Stitches is getting some new rubber. 
but I decided to give these Protrax tires a shot because they're really affordable. They have them on Prime so I can get them when I need them. And the compound is on the harder side, which is what I was looking for because I ride this on the street sometimes. But man, that is gonna make all the difference in the world this weekend. Yes, you heard me right. This weekend, we're doing some pit bike riding. I got invited to a young subscriber's birthday party, so I'm gonna bring the camera, the KLX 110, and we're gonna have a good time at Route 62 MX. So that's first on the list. Let's go ahead and get these things mounted. She's caked in there, boys. So I've always heard this stuff is good to breathe, so I'm gonna try to take as much in as possible. Airborne brake dust is not good for you. But for the longest time, I was getting frustrated with the brakes on this thing. I did change the pads a few years ago, but it's completely filthy in here, so that's probably why I looped out a while back with the Two Brothers brake lever. There's just not enough clean surface in here to get any bite with the shoes. The wheel bearings look surprisingly good though, so that's awesome to see. I checked for play earlier and there's absolutely nothing, so they're good for now. All right, that's good enough. Let's go ahead and get the tire off the rim. I actually have this really nice Motion Pro tire spoon set, so I'll go ahead and link it down in the description. And I'm gonna make it a habit to start using these wheel protectors because I've destroyed a lot of my wheels not using these. You're fired. It's got this really nice lip here and I like the size of these compared to using like a giant tire iron for a car sized wheel. These are just meant for the job and they do it pretty well. Oh, I love doing tires. All right, back with the soapy water. This should definitely help lube these things up. I'm doing. There we go, baby. Once you get started, it's not bad, but getting started is the hard part. These rims are already beat anyway, so I said screw the rim protectors. But I've always heard that smaller tires like this are the hardest. This is one thing that I just haven't learned how to enjoy yet, but I keep forcing myself to do it because I know I'll get better at it over time and it's a skill that I wanna master. That's never a sound you want to hear. Come on, this last one, I have to get it. Oh yeah. My door up, I don't give a shit. Oh. There we go. Ow! 
got it, but God, at the price of my hand. Uh, we have a wheel and a tire full of crap. Throw you outside. You are going in the trash. All right, now that the fun part's over with, I tell you what, for any of my 2% female viewers out there, get you a man that loves using tire spoons. I promise you, you'll have a happy relationship, but I'm just not that guy. We're working on it, guys, day by day. And I have a few things in mind that'll help us out in the process. I plan on getting a proper wheel stand, but that was fun. Let's do that again. Baby, my day. All right, baby, break out that old rock and roll. Good enough. Woo hoo! Some ventilation in here, man. Woo! Damn. We got one more piece to the puzzle here. My go-to inner tube, the IRC Heavy Duty. I do I do de 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 I've had the tires sitting by the wood stove for a while getting warmed up because it's a lot easier to change these things when they're warm. So it's that time. Let's give it a try. I actually think I'm going to leave the front. There's still plenty of tread on there. And not to mention, I bought two rear inner tubes, so I don't even have another one. And if I pinch the one that's in here, it's just not worth it. I'm going to run this tire for a while. First things first, let's get this cardboard out of here. Oh my God, this is a stiff tire. Yeah, this is gonna be a pain. I can already tell you that. But that is part of the process, so it is what it is. <sighs> Little bite. Come on, man, we need more lube. Mm. Stuck on that last little lip. I can't get my fire spoon in there. Whoa! Oh, here we go. Here's the moment of satisfaction. Oh, here we go. Now, since these are thicker, they are harder to install, but you know what? I'll take that. I am gonna go ahead and grab some baby powder and get this thing all nice and uh, powdered up and it's easier to slide in that way. All right, let's find the hole. Get back over there where you belong. There we go. Tube's going in. Charlie. We almost did it! Did it! Get that nut! Uh oh <laughs> I didn't like my car anyways. Some of the stuff guys I just can't put in the video. Oh yeah. I didn't like the screwdriver anyways, it's kinda of piece of Oh, no way. We got a piece of screwdriver in the tube now. And now I can't even get the thing out of there. 
You can't make this up, guys. Oh. We got the tip out. Just the tip. All right. Let's do this again. Oh, yeah. Next time, hit me in the face. I'd be feel better. Damn. Oh. Almost there. Give her one last lube. Oh yes. It also helps to put just a tiny bit of air in the tube so it can fill up and make sure none of the loose parts of the tube will get pinched. Come on, lube it up. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Damn! WGWG! I wear like safety glasses and a helmet. I feel like one of these tire irons is just gonna fly into my freaking face, break a tooth. Don't you be dirty to me like that, my good friend. Yeah, yeah, where the lube at? Mm. Oh yeah, that was good on the finish. So close guys, I'm not gonna give up. The power of lube and perseverance win this challenge. Mm. Mm. That's what I'm talking about, almost home. Who's willing to bet that we popped the tube? Let's go fill it up with air and see what happens. Well, I cannot believe it, but we got the new Tough Gear Type R tire mounted. The tube was not pinched. Probably got like 30 pounds of air in there right now just to let the beads set. But we did it. It was a struggle. As always, I've got to get more efficient at this. I always tear my hands up and get so ridiculously frustrated in the process. So if anybody out there has some good tire spooning tricks, techniques, methods that you use that are different from mine, let me know. I know it helps to keep the bead centered in the wheel while you're spooning the other side, but you gotta understand guys, it's super hard to do with these small tires. So if you haven't changed these small guys out, don't comment. I pretty much mastered the bigger tires, but as far as these little mini bikes, the Groms included, these are just a pain. I know it would definitely help to get a machine and I think we're gonna do that at some point because I can't be spending this much time doing this and I really don't wanna outsource this stuff. But this is one thing that I just don't enjoy so let me know once again if you got any tips for these small guys. It'll definitely help if I get a third tire spoon. I resorted to using the flathead but two just doesn't seem to be enough so I'll probably order another set. But it's time to go ahead and slap this thing back in the 110 and she'll be running after that so let's do it. This is the messiest stuff in the world, but it works. I like where that is right there, baby. Would you check that out, guys? We have a brand new tire on stitches. I think she's happy. A couple other things we need to do before the weekend. We need to get the chain cleaned up. We'll probably go ahead and do that tonight. This is the original chain that I bought with this bike, so it probably needs replaced, but we're gonna keep sending it until we run out of room to adjust. I'm very surprised with these wheel bearings, though. I'd imagine they're factory, so good on you, Kawasaki. Like I said, I think we made the decision just to run the front for now. It's got plenty of tread for me. And let's be honest, I'm not trying to win any competitions on this thing, so. It's actually Lex's 23rd birthday today, so wish her some love down in the comments below. I'm about to go take her out to dinner. 
and I have no idea where to go yet. I'm thinking Chinese, and like my boy Ricky said, the best way to romance a woman is to take her out to Chinese, so, and Ricky we trust. And while I'm standing here, we gotta get rid of those paint grips. I can't stand it. Even though this bike is a beater, that paint just makes me wanna gag every time I see it. So we'll probably come back out and wrench on this thing tonight, but I gotta go get cleaned up. I will see you in the next clip.